Hello. Wanted to uh, introduce you to the Chiapa Little Badger 22 Magnum rifle. This is a survival backpack rifle. On the back side here, you can see I've got uh, 22 Magnum shells. I've got six on each side. It has this little re retainer uh, clip kind of deal. I put a Ranger band on there just to secure it. It has a wire stock that it is adjustable by these screws here. You can, uh, can adjust this in and out. And uh, it has peep sights. Normally it has peep sights on the rear. I had to remove those to put a scope on it. This scope is a 4x30 power scope. Works really nice with this rifle. Now the peep sights, I had a problem with them. When I got this, I could not hit anything you know uh, I sighted him for 25 yards and I was always shooting uh, an inch at like 25 yards or I think maybe even two inches high at 25 yards and at 20 yards I was hitting an inch high I could not get this sighted like um, you I lowered the sights as low as they would go it would not come down it just would not come down any closer to that um, at 50 yards, it may have been better, but this is a survival rifle. Uh, I want to be able to shoot squirrels. I want to be able to shoot rabbit. Uh, small game. That's what this is for. At 50 yards, I can't see a squirrel. I'm sorry. You know, it just, it don't make sense. Especially through peep sights. It does not make sense. Um, so I ended up going with a scope. A buddy of mine has the same rifle. Uh, same model and such and he put a scope on it and it's on and now this is on but with the peep sights I don't know maybe yours will be different but a scope is the way to go with this uh, model I believe um, I couldn't hit anything now this is right here you have a forward breakdown pull it breaks down single shot so take one drop it in you can see it lifts it up brings it down closes now when you uh, bring it back down it's not spring loaded it just pops back up so for easy removal lock and loaded trigger and a hammer so you just pull back you're ready to fire that's all there is to it it's a simple, simple design, but it's very effective. And uh, to be honest, it works very nice. And uh, it gives good grouping. Now, I think what I'm doing today is going to look for some rabbit. So, we'll see how it goes. But this is the uh, Chiampa Little Badger. And it is a sweet, sweet rifle. So, what I'm doing is I'm just walking down this uh, old road. These are this four-wheeler trail and such now. And uh, just looking in through the woods and it's really thick here but the leaves have fallen so it's a good place for a rabbit to be hanging out you'd be walking along all of a sudden you see a rabbit in the bush and that's what i'm looking for as i go i'll show you the area that i'm hunting so you can see a lot of nice spots you just walk along and uh, hopefully there may be a rabbit sitting there or a partridge even gonna uh, continue up this path this is very important I am starting to sweat I dress in layers so I can peel some off and I have my book bag so I can put my uh, sweater in my book bag because you never want to get wet. Uh, this is a day hike. You know, maybe a couple hours, whatever. But you don't know how long you're going to be here. 
So always be prepared. Don't get wet. When you start to sweat, peel off some layers. Like I said, I have my backpack. I can throw that in my backpack. So I'm gonna just try this shirt and this jacket and uh, see how that works. And if I still get warm, I may just take off this shirt and keep this jacket on. But remember that, always stay dry. And you start to sweat, as, you know, start peeling off layers. That's why it's good to layer up so you can layer back down. See where that first uh, shot went, and uh, the wind is really strong out here, and it blew the can around. So uh, I'm gonna take another shot. take a look at that one. There we go. I was aiming right basically for here. <laughs> so it's close enough for me. Probably uh, I'm old and a little shaky. <laughs> so I can get a critter with it. That's all that matters. Well there's rabbit sign right here and uh, you see some there and more over there that's quite a bit <laughs> plus there's some there that means that they're in here there's quite a bit of rabbit scat right in this area so I'll keep my eyes peeled that wasn't too long ago a day or two you can see here the depression here look at the size of my hand to the size of those nuggets if you want to call them uh, that's moose that's moose droppings I know there is moose around here and uh, nice little spot So there it is, like I said, a uh, Chiapa little badger and uh, makes a nice little uh, survival weapon I believe and uh, good for a uh, small game. You can take coyote with it. I know people that uh, may have taken a deer with a 22 Magnum. I've heard of it. Uh, it's illegal in my uh, province but um, it's a nice little you know rifle I like it now I don't know if I'm gonna see anything uh, the battery's almost dead so I'm gonna say goodbye now and uh, if I'm gonna try to save some of the battery so if I do see something I can film it so uh, if I don't this is it and uh, you know if you ever get a chance to buy one of these I would suggest it if you want just a single shot it's a 16 inch barrel. It's good 50 yards and such. I guess there's all kinds of uh, reviews on YouTube uh, about this and what they're hitting with it. Um, I won't shoot any more than 20, 30 yards because I'll be shooting rabbit and squirrel and such. And so that's it. Have a good one and uh, hopefully I'll see something. But whenever I go hunting or whatever, I say I'm taking my gun or a rifle for a walk that's what it is I'm out here just enjoying it out here uh, enjoying the sight seeing what you can find if you see something and you bag it that's just a bonus I'm out here mainly because I'm in the woods that's why I go out just enjoy the outdoors love it 
Bye for now.